are celebrating Pi Day. <laughs> no, not the dessert, but the mathematical constant 3.14159, which makes it a great day to talk about math education and getting kids interested in STEM or science, technology, engineering, and math. Joining us now is Cindy Lawrence Brainiac, mm -hmm. the executive director and CEO of MoMath, AKA the National Museum of Mathematics right here in New York City. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by and she saw a lot of back scenes shenanigans so she really knows how, <laughs> how we do things here. Well, I like your name, Cindy. Let's talk about what <laughs> pi is and how it's calculated. So pi is actually an essential part of a circle. If you draw any circle and you measure the distance right through the center, we call that the diameter. And if you took a string and put it exactly around the circle and measured that string, we call that the circumference. Right. And for any circle, if you take the measurement of that string and divide it by the measurement of the diameter, you get 3.14, etc. And what's surprising to a lot of people is it doesn't matter what size the circle is. It works for little it circles, works. it works for big circles. It's basically an essential feature of a circle. This is interesting too because, and, and this kind of blows my mind, it's an irrational number, it just never ends. It never ends. And Cindy and I actually were talking about tau. Mm -hmm. Tau is pi times two. Okay. Pi would be the radius instead of the diameter which is another great way to, you know, I mean, it just, all this stuff blows my mind. And the irony that today is also Albert Einstein's birthday. <laughs> Seems like this is a great way to get kids excited about math and get, I mean, it's fun because you can get a deal at Taco Bell today, but it gets kids excited <laughs> about math and what math can do and solve. I think it's not just kids, actually. Mm -hmm. Adults like pi just as much. If there's one thing you remember from your high school or middle school math classes, it's probably pi. And so we like to take any opportunity to celebrate and share something that people find interesting and joyful. And that's what we do, actually, at the National Museum of Mathematics. For kids and adults, they come in, and what they don't see are numbers or math problems mm -hmm. or graded papers or pencils or graph paper or calculators. What they see is a square-wheeled tricycle that you could ride on or an easel that you can paint on with symmetry. And that's how we get people, kids and adults alike, excited about math. And this is great. We're looking at the pictures, and they're so interactive. I always like those museums that are interactive, that you can do things. But as you were saying, 50% of the people who go are adults with no kids. So it's not like a kid's museum. It's not just a kid's right. museum. We like to say that the museum appeals to anyone from age 2 to 102. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and the other thing, too, is what, when you're there, what do you see on the faces of the kids mm. when they're actually connecting dots? What I see is exuberance uh -huh. and joy. And there is not a day that I don't walk through the museum where I don't hear someone, kid or adult, say three words. That's so cool. Aww. And when do you remember hearing someone say that in math class? Not that often. But that yet they should. I mean, they should. I not to be nerd out on you. Math is so amazing. It is, but like I think, like Cindy says, it needs to be presented in a certain way, you know, that is interesting to kids. Otherwise, you can have that really boring math teacher up there no, 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 that puts you that. to sleep. Not with Cindy and Cindy. <laughs> Well, let me just say the basics are really important. Yeah. We like to say that our museum is the inspiration that makes kids motivated to learn the basics. That's terrific. Just like when you hear a beautiful symphony, you might be motivated to learn how to read music, how to play an instrument. That's the work part, but you heard the symphony. We are the symphony of mathematics. Oh, I love that. Cindy, Cindy, symphony Cindy. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate Thank you for it. Me. And happy Pi Day. Thank you. <laughs> All right.